Well, it's George Allen, LPs and CDs, and I'm making a video. First one in a long time. Oh, and I want to thank all those my loyal viewers. There's been a few of you that have reached out to me and said, hey, what you up to? Haven't seen you for a while. So I thought that uh, I'd take this opportunity to show a few of the things that I've gotten recently. Actually, not recently, over the last couple months. Uh, it depends on how you define recent, huh? So, things have been crazy around here. Uh, my wife is permanently in Texas, and I'm permanently in Kentucky. And uh, so, that's the way it is. But I am stronger mentally, stronger spiritually, physically. Well, so I'm dealing with cancer again. But I trust in the Lord. That's all I can do. So I'm going to show you some LPs first, okay? Thelonious Monk, repress of his um, 1956, The Genius of Modern Music, with some really all-star players on here. Gene Ramey on bass and Art Blakey on drums. Wonderful blue note. Here's one that I wanted for a long time. Kenny Durham with the Afro-Cuban sound. With him on trumpet, Hank Mobley on tenor sax, Cecil Payne on baritone sax, Horace Silver on piano, how about that? Percy Heath on Blake, on bass, excuse me, Art Blakey on drums. I've wanted this one for a couple years. Finally, um, Blue Note did some repressings of it, and uh, this one is from originally... Uh, it's from the mid 50s. I can't I can't place a date on it right offhand, but I heard a cut from it a while back, and I wanted it for a while because I was finally able to get it. And then our Pepper meets the rhythm section with Red Garland, Paul Chambers, and Philly Joe Jones. Who doesn't love Philly Joe Jones as a drummer? And then this one. I am a vibraphone man at heart, and this is Tito Puente and his Latin ensemble, Mambo Diablo. What a name, Mambo Diablo. This is a killer album. Boy, if you like Latin music, and there's a bunch of guys on here, and uh, some great stuff with George Shearing on, as a special guest. How about that? And just to think that I've only been stuck on um, um, jazz. Nope, nope, George got one of my favorite from when I was a teenager, Jefferson Airplane's Crown of Creation. And this is an RTI Special HQ 180. This is a great album, and it sounds wonderful. It sounds wonderful. Crown of Creation, Jefferson Airplane. It, this is one of their finest albums. I love that a lot. Great sounding album. Now I'm going to show you a bunch of... Um, recently, I just decided to splurge on some Mobile Fidelity CDs and one of my all-time favorite Eagles album, Desperado. Love that. Crosby, Stills and Nash's first album and one of my all-time favorite Bob Dylan, John Wesley Harding. Well, then I saw this write-up in a magazine and I can't remember where it was. It might have been Downbeat did a thing on uh, Intervention Records and they came out with a series on Peter Frampton so I got Frampton's Camel and I got 
Frampton. Great sounding, great sounding CDs. Uh, then I picked up a few others from, uh, I got another Art Pepper. And from Smoke Sessions, they were having a sale uh, because of their 10-year uh, anniversary or something. They were having 20% off, so I got Nicholas Payton. I like Nicholas Payton a lot. And there's some great songs on here, especially I like it because Lenny White plays drums on it. I love it, Lenny White. Al Foster, wonderful drummer. It's a great CD. And Joe Farnsworth himself, really cool drummer. And, and uh, Wynton Marcellus is on this. Great CD. And then I picked this one up, and I don't remember where, but it's a prestige repressed Terry Collier. And he is a, some cool, um, kind of like a folk bluesy type of guy. And um, this has a couple cuts on it that were previously unreleased. If you're into folk blues, Terry Collier's wonderful. So that's what I got for this one. Sorry that I've been absent so long. I don't know how often I'll be making uh, videos. And I'm going to try and catch up with some of you guys. And uh, now that a lot of the turmoil is behind me, although I got cancer treatment in front of me, but uh, hey, that's life, man. You know, when you're shot down in May, you know, you're going to get up, get up in June. So that's all we can say, just like Frank Sinatra sang it. So take care, all of you. Hope to see you again soon, and uh, leave a comment and tell me what you think about my purchases here and what you're listening to. So, adios, amigos.